Alrighty guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit different. Um, so I have a PC that one of my relatives gave me. They were like, hey, we got this old PC we don't want anymore. Do you want it? And I'm like, sure, why not? Um, it turns out the PC they gave me has a Q6600 in it. If you don't know what that is, it's a Core 2 Duo Quad. So it's an Intel CPU um, from 2007, but it was Intel's first quad core CPU. So this is a quad core running at 2.4 gigahertz. So even though it's relatively old, back in 2007, this was an $800 CPU when it came out. And January of 2008, uh, they dropped it down to $500, but still, that's a $500 CPU when it came out. So we're going to see if um, a $500, well, back, up, back in 2007, a top-of-the-line CPU is still any good today in 2015. So what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be taking the graphics card, my GTX 960, out of my desktop over there, with a, which currently has an i5-4690K. So that's a quad-core at 2 point, no, sorry, 3.5 gigahertz, um, and that's a 2014 CPU. So we're going to be taking that out, we're going to be installing it in the new computer, and then we're going to see, uh, we'll install Windows, we're going to see how it kind of compares to some of the, um, to see how it does, you know, an older CPU with a relatively new, relatively modern graphics card in it. Um, I'm kind of interested in this, because I'm going to see how much does it really, does your CPU matter that much? If you have a top of line CPU but it's older, is it still going to be able to perform if you, give a new, if you get a new graphics card for it? So um, let's check this out, guys. Alright, so this is the rig, oh boy. This is the not the okay. This is the wrong side. I'm sorry. But see, it's a Core 2 Duo Quad, and it originally ran Windows Vista. This was a pre-built PC, so as you can see, the cable management isn't exactly the greatest. Um, let's take a closer look. As you can see, we've got some old graphics card in here. I don't know which graphics card this is exactly. Uh, when we take this out and replace it with the, with my 970, I suppose we can figure that out. Underneath here, this big CPU cooler uh, is the Q6600, which I suppose this CPU cooler is actually appropriate because this is a this the TDP of the CPU is 105 watts. Um, just for reference, my current my current uh, i5-4690K is 88 watts TDP. This is our motherboard power. Uh, here is our power supply. Down here, we've got one 320 gigabyte hard drive, I believe. Um, this hard drive sounds like it's dying, <laughs> which is probably not very good. So we're going to install Windows on it, but it sounds like it makes a lot of noise. It's really loud and it's kind of freaking me out. So I don't know if the hard drive is going to hold up for all this, uh, but we can try. If not, I suppose we can boot off of something else. Oh, oh yeah, I don't want to forget about the RAM. So way back in here, this is three gigabytes of DDR2 or DDR3, I can't remember. So it's got, uh, these are each one gigabyte sticks and these are 512 megabyte sticks to make a total of three gigabytes. So I think our biggest limiting factor with this system is gonna be our RAM, because we only have three gigs of RAM. Uh, so first let's run 3D Mark uh, on my PC. All right, so we're just gonna run the regular Fire Strike. So we're gonna run this, we'll get a score and then we'll be back shortly. I think the most annoying part of this, oh, I forgot Fire Strike makes noise. All right, I'm gonna mute that. Um, I think the most annoying part of this whole thing is just going to be installing Windows and installing all the drivers we need and everything on this PC. But I'm gonna have to do that um, in order to test this. Uh, so right now Fire Strike is running. Uh, we'll let that run through, we'll get a score, and then uh, we'll swap everything out. All right, we're gonna get our score. So, our score, which I probably could get a lot higher if I overclock, but that's not the point of this video, uh, is 6,500 with a GTX 960 and an i5-4690K. So we're better than 47% of all results. So that's our number, 6,500. Now let's swap it over to the other system. I just realized something that could sort of be an issue. This is only a 375 watt power supply. 
and they recommend at least a 400 watt power supply for this graphics card. So we're gonna try it uh, with skepticism. I think that's a word, skepticism. Now you might be saying, but Gavin, you could just take the power supply out of your other computer, which is 500 watts, and put it in this one. That sounds like a great idea, Gavin. Um, yeah, except I don't want to take the power supply out of my other computer. That's a lot of that's a lot of cables and stuff, and I don't want to deal with that. What graphics card is this? I don't even know. Does it say? I feel like it should. Oh, it's an ASUS card. I think it's a Radeon something. I don't know. If you know what this card is, uh, let me know in the comments. I know it's not very powerful, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is the issue. <laughs> uh, this power supply only has one PCIe power connector. I need to. We're gonna try to boot it like this, but I don't know how well it's gonna work out. Also, this doesn't close. So what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna take it out, we don't need it. All right, so while this downloads, I thought I'd take a minute to kind of, my predictions for this. I think that we will get relatively close. I think that we'll be able to run games and do everything on this, uh, just like we could on anything else, uh, because most of the stuff, like games, are, gr are graphics based. This is a quad core at 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, in 3D Mark, I think we're going to notice the biggest difference when we're doing the physics test, because physics is all done by the CPU. But I'm confident, because it's still a relatively decent CPU. My biggest concern is graphics card power. We don't have enough of it, which actually really does concern me. So I'll be back with you guys in a minute when we're ready to um, install Windows and everything. Welcome to this is my Bo. house, baby. This is this is this is my grandma's dog. This is Bo, and this is Annika. Dilly. And Indy's down there. He's not normally this spoiled. He's normally a wild dog. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> this is how they play. They aren't actually like trying to kill each other. All right, so our media, our media is at fifty-two percent. We're almost there. Hi, Indy. All right, now let's get the area set up here for the new computer. So let me go get some keyboards and mice and stuff. We're not going for pretty, we're going for boot. There we have a new system, there we have the old system, and we're waiting for the disc to be made so we can boot into Windows. While we wait for the installation media to finish, I just want to see if this will boot at all with the graphics card power like that. Um, fingers crossed. This computer takes a long time to boot anyway, so. Aha! So we have a boot. Okay, let's try it. Mmm, I'm hoping this works, please. Please work. This computer boots so slow. And just because of this drive in here is like dying. Oh, we got a loading screen. Okay. Oh. Yes. Yes. All right. The graphics card is working. That's good. Uh, will it crash when it goes under load? I hope not, but possibly. That is a very, that is a very high possibility. All right, our flash drive is ready. So, can we finish? Let's finish. All right, and now we're gonna pull it out. And now we're gonna put it in this guy. I think, just like that. And now we're gonna boot up, and hopefully it works. Please work. I think I press F5 or something. Aha! F12, no, F12, F12, F12. Got it, okay. Aha! I have gotten it working. Okay, so, 
We have Windows Boot. If it ever boots, we're booting off the drive. We're going to try to install. We're going to try to install Windows. Hopefully, we can, and then we will get up and running here. Ugh, well, that was kind of a pain in the butt. The hard drive that was in this computer wasn't formatted with the right file system to install Windows. So to take it out of this computer, hook it up to my other computer, which meant taking the back panel off that uh, and hooking it all up. And then I formatted it with FAT32. Let me close the door here so I can get some room. So now I'm gonna move it back. Oh boy. I'm gonna move this sucker back to this computer and install it in here. And then maybe finally, we'll be able to get windows on this guy. Finally, God dang, it's taking forever. The time I put into these videos for you guys. This is what I'm spending my, my Valentine's Day doing. Spending all day with the computer. Still waiting, oh boy. <laughs> this is like the slowest Windows install I think I've ever done. This is kind of sad, it's going this slow. Uh, yeah, I think it's been an hour, it's at 75%. And we're in. Amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna get the display set to the right resolution. Uh, and here's Windows. So finally, after a grueling Windows install that took like, I don't know, an hour to install Windows, we're finally into Windows. We're finally installing all the software. So I've installed the graphics card drivers. I've installed Steam and we're downloading the 3D Mark application right now, which is um, almost halfway done. So it should be not that much longer before we get our results. Um, the PC is running Windows 10 just fine right now. I've actually, I'm doing a lot with it. Considering this is a 2007 system, this is doing really well. As far as disk goes though, this is like the slowest disk ever. We're, we're literally downloading a game. Uh, and at 3.3 megabytes per second, we're writing in the disk at 5.3 megabytes per second and it's maxing it out. All right, here we go. Finally. I've been working on this all day. Well, since like noon and it's like five o'clock now. Just to run this one test. It's been a lot of stuff I've had to do. I had to install Windows, but that was a pain. There's been problems all along the way. So I'm excited to finally see what the results are. Oh my God, it's taking so long to load in. Oh, here we go. Yay, first test finished successfully, or the first main run through. So now we're gonna do the first graphics test and hopefully it doesn't die on us. And so far it seems to be running all right. So let's hope this trend continues. <laughs> Cause if this fails, it's gonna kind of suck. I've been working on this all day. Here we go, let's see what our frame rates are. No way. 39 FPS. 33. This is a, I feel like this is about what we were getting on my system. I think with a, with a decent graphics card, or with a decent CPU, but a relatively new graphics card, you're fine. At least so far. Well, what did we learn today from this? Well, considering... So, we ran Firestrike on my PC, which has a uh, Core i5-4690K. And then we ran it again 
on this system, which is an Intel Core 2 Duo uh, Quad, which is an Intel Q6600, uh, which is a quad core CPU that came out. It was Intel's first quad core that came out in 2007. And so we used the exact same graphics card and the exact same benchmark between both PCs. My PC got a score of 6,500, and this PC got a score of 5,520. This got 85% of the performance of my PC. Here's the thing though, the i5-4690K on Amazon is $230. On eBay you can get a Core 2 Quad for about $27. That is, that is crazy. You're getting 85% of the performance for like, what is that? What percent of the price is that? I don't know, let me figure it out right now. So you're getting 85% of the performance for 11% of the price. So let's just say these are $25 and an i5-4690K is $230 right now on Amazon. That's 11% of the price, but 85% of the performance, at least in 3D Mark. So if you're gaming, I don't see why. I mean, sure, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to do crazy stuff in terms of like editing and stuff, but that, that is, to me, it's a no-brainer. Let me clarify here a little bit. Don't purposely cheap out on your CPU though. You want to get the best you can at the time. So if you can afford something a little bit nicer, uh, I would go for it because you're going to like it more down the road in a couple years. Uh, but if you're really on a budget, take a look at budget CPUs. Dump more money in your graphics card and less money in your processor if you're just going for gaming. Uh, anyway guys, I think that's it for today. I'll catch you guys next time. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you liked it, don't forget to hit like. I already said this earlier in the video, but I'm going to say it again. Don't forget to hit like uh, and dislike if you disliked it. And then I'd like to know why. So let me know so I can know what to change in the future and that kind of stuff. Um, and if you really thought it was good, you know, you could subscribe. That would that would be nice. You could, you could do that. Uh, right now we're at 187 subscribers. It would be nice if we could make it to 200 sometimes soon. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. All right, bye.